ball in there. The radio journalist from Michigan was shooting video that day at the Capitol. What he captured were two most charitably called suspicious actors, but they were dressed in such a way that led him to believe that they were government agents. And one of them, after the windows had been broken by a protester, it was encouraging people to, to pull the rest of the glass out and go inside. Bobby Powell, who was the journalist that had shot it, and he has his camera rolling, he told him that would be illegal and that wouldn't be a good idea. He warned people off not to go into that window, and then he turned his camera around and he caught this agent or suspicious actor pulling a large pane of glass out, this tempered glass, it kind of folds in, into itself, crunch onto the ground. And when he realized he was being filmed, he quickly dropped it. It seems apparent on the video that he did not want to be seen doing what he, what he just did. So he pulled in a protester and started blaming him. So what are you doing breaking that window? The poor fellow that was being accused didn't know what was going on. And then he gave him a couple of really good shoves and cocked his arm like he was going to punch him. You know, we don't know. His uh, facial image is not on any of the Sedition Hunter sites or the FBI's most wanted site. But he clearly was committing criminal damage to property uh, and he has not been charged. So it, you know, again, it raises a question of why. Also, the individual trying to, again, opening the window up is even encouraging people to enter, I believe, as well? Yes. What's he saying? Well, he, he said, why don't you all uh, open the rest of it up?